Tony Newman and Doug Phillips now tumble helplessly toward a new fantastic adventure somewhere along the infinite corridors of time. The fall of 1966 was a good time for sci-fi and fantasy addicts. Voyage was still going strong, as was Lost in Space, now, believe it or not, holding its own opposite Batman. Even Star Trek made its debut that year on NBC. But on Friday nights, right after the Green Hornet on ABC, we could catch the adventures of Dr. Tony Newman, played by James Darren. And Doug Phillips, played by Robert Colbert. Every Irwin Allen production, the pilot, titled Rendezvous with Yesterday, was carefully planned and storyboarded. Compare these sketches for the opening sequence with the version as it appears in the final film. This is a red alert. Red alert. All time tunnel personnel report to their stations on the double. Irwin would go to any length to make it look exactly like what the storyboard was. So when I saw it, when I saw what Irwin had, had storyboarded and then eventually saw this incredible set, which was exactly like the storyboard, but grand, of course, it was breathtaking. It helped you in your character. You fantasized and you were there. To devise the look of the series' most important set, the tunnel itself, Irwin employed virtually every graphic artist and designer he knew eventually settling on this design. <laughs> <laughs> 